when I start making a website for our client or for our own business using Elementor, we can apply some quick tips to speed up our workflow. Hi, my name is Farjana. In this tutorial, I will share with you 10 quick tips which will really help you to speed up your workflow. You know, time is money. So when you save your time, you can also save your money and you can make more money. Alright, now let's go ahead and without any further ado, let's get started. Number 1. Start with a template. Many times we don't need to start from scratch or we even don't have any specific design to follow. So that cases we can start from pre-made layout. For example, if I open to create any new pages from the Elementor, here we will find two options. One is from scratch and another is from template. If I go the template, here we will find tons of ready template for the complete pages. So we can select any template and then we can start customizing using our content. Also, if we don't like to start with the full page, that case we can take any specific block. So from here, for example, if I want to take a specific sections for about, I'm searching for about. So here we will find many pre-made sections. So we can use all these for about page. So instead of creating from scratch, by using this kind of template or blocks, we can make our workflow more faster. Number two, using shortcuts. There is no doubt using shortcuts or short keyword, we can make our work faster. Elementor also have this kind of shortcuts. By pressing Ctrl or Command plus the question sign in the same time, we will see the list of shortcuts. So we can use any of these to make our workflow faster. For example, for undo, we can type Ctrl plus G to redo Ctrl plus Shift plus G to copy Ctrl plus C and paste Ctrl plus V. In the same way, we can check all others and we can use all this when we work with Elementor Builder. All right. Now number three, save sections for reuse. We can save any sections or rows or columns or anything and then we can use it to a second page or another sections. For example, if I save this section, simply right click and save as template, template one or we can type anything then save. And now we can use this section to another page. Here is a new page I'm going to create. If I refresh it, now going to the add template, my templates, and here you will find the structure. Here is the template one I'm going to insert. And now we can see this section is added to another page very easily. Then number four, set colors globally. Instead of changing all of the color one by one, it's really time consuming. Instead of that, we can set all the global color from our global settings. So if I go to left top, site settings and global colors. From here, we can set all the initial color. Here is the system color. We can change all the color. And below, here is some custom color I have added. And instead of that, we can add more color as per our design. And even we can change the name instead of this. So this is very useful and quicker option to change any item color instead of doing manually. Then number five, save any elements as global. For example, if I scroll down, for example, this one, I want to make this style as global so right click and save as global now saving it as global call to action save and we can see it's saving beside our all elements here is the global here is the global call to action and now for example here I'm going to create a new section and on the right side I want to add this global item so again going here going to global and I'm taking this we can decrease the left side. Now we can change the item style and it will apply to the 
both of the item go to edit and here we can make it to unlink from global so i'm not making it to unlink instead of that i'm going to edit going to style tab and if i change the button color going to button and the background color i'm changing it to pink color update and now if i scroll down we can see this style is also working for others global item and now if i want to make it unlink we can do that and now if i change the design or change the content it will not apply to the others item number six export or import template to reuse on another site if i go to the templates from dashboard and saved templates here we will find all the saved templates which we saved and from here we can easily import or export any template for example this template if we want to singly export this one here is the option export template simply click here and if we want to reuse it to another site here is the import template option and then we can browse the file and import so if you like any template or design for another site which we created we need not to redesign or recreate from scratch the exact same design for another website so that case we can use this export or import feature number seven navigate through the sections using navigator sometimes it's really difficult to select any specific sections like when i scrolling and trying to edit this section sometimes it's very difficult to pick the exact section which i want to edit it's not easy to select so this time it's better to use the navigator from left bottom corner here is the navigator and from here we can easily go through any sections by clicking this here is the other section we can go through all the sections very easily number eight configure basic layout in our design we need to set the same type spacing or same type padding for each of the section or rows so instead of doing the same thing repeatedly we can do it once globally so for that if i go to settings site settings and here is the layout so from here we can configure the all global settings for our structure like here is the content width we can change it from here the container padding we can set any specific padding and it will work for all over the website for all container then gap between the elements by default this is the 20 pixel we can make it to zero or anything as we want and here is some all others basic settings we can check and set as per our need number nine use elementor finder when i want to switch between pages that time we need to go through like that going to exit then it's coming to like that and then we have to go to dashboard or if i want to go to any specific post or page then we have to go here we have to search the specific post and finally we have to go through like edit with elementor and then we can go to the elementor builder for that page instead of all these steps simply go here and here is the finder and here if we search for any page or block and here we will find the blog post and pages even we can create any new page or new template under this finder we can go to the quick view or even we can go to the edit page and this is really a quick hack to speed up our workflow using elementor or there is a shortcut for this finder which we can apply from any pages by pressing ctrl and e even from here by pressing ctrl and e or command plus e that's really cool finally number 10 we can speed up our elementor workflow by using different kind of elementor add-ons there is a tons of elementor free add-ons and also we will find many pro add-ons and by using some quality add-ons we can speed up our workflow and it will also make our website work more easier for example here from the plugins add new and here if i search for elementor add-ons here we will find tons of free add-ons we can check 
anyone and also you will find more pro plugin or pro add-ons for Elementor which is really very useful. One of my favorite and useful add-ons for Elementor is Croco Blocks. Here under the products they have tons of jet plugins. These are basically the add-ons plugin and if you go through all the jet plugins you will find these are very useful and they have some dynamic plugins and dynamic templates which can really boost up your work speed. I have also created some more tutorials about the Croco blocks details so if you like to use this Croco block and if you know more about this you can check all this tutorial I think this will be helpful for you. Alright that's all for today if you think this tutorial adds some value to you Please give this video a big thumbs up, otherwise you may not find this kind of valuable tutorial next time. And if you are new here and like to see my more upcoming videos, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Finally, if you like to work with me for any WordPress project, you can contact me through my website. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.